Alright guys, uh, this will be pretty well known among our veteran players, but definitely not well known among our newer players. Uh, block is an incredible thing, and as you get closer to endgame, you start seeing how ridiculous it really is on enemy characters like Zhao Zai here. Uh, who can currently boast some of the highest block rate in the entire game if you were to fight him in melee range with an upward scaling of like 150% block or higher. Thankfully we have Giselle at range here and I wanted to go over the post block shred concept that is known as breakthrough. So uh, Zhao Zai currently is running 93% block. That's actually all added up from a base block of 53, 10 from mountain, 10 from his armor. 10 from epic and 10 from moving on silence or 10 20 30 40 plus 53 93 block uh, on the flip side giselle is running dunamis sniper rifle which is 30 percent block shred predicted fire which is 25 percent block shred and then the best and skilled snipe uh, which is based off of sniper class masteries i'm currently running 12 um, and each one of these is 0.5% based on your uh, class masteries, or half. So uh, half of my 12 masteries for best snipe would be 6, and half of my uh, sniper masteries from skilled snipe would also be 6. And then you see breakthrough at 13. So in total here, 30 plus 25, that's 55, um, plus 13, that's 68, uh, plus 12, uh, that's 80. And so you can see that the enemy block turns out to be 93 minus 80. But the important part here is that how it's added up, and this is why breakthrough can or cannot be very useful. Uh, so obviously, um, Dunamis sniper rifle, 30%, predicted fire, 25%. So these two are 55. And then best snipe and skilled snipe, uh, that's 12. So 55 plus 12, uh, which will be 67. And then uh, 93 minus 67 will be 26 block remaining, which is how you get your breakthrough of uh, divided in half at 13, or what is known as post block shred. Now, there's three major takeaways from this. One, breakthrough is amazing on higher difficulties because of the increased block rates that enemies have, and much less useful on lower difficulties. Uh, two, Characters that don't have block shred, like Leton's Superstar, or minimal block shred, like Hazing's Ranger, will get much more use out of Breakthrough. And then three, characters that do have lots of block shred, like Albus or Grenadier Ray, uh, or even Giselle here, will get very little use out of Breakthrough due to post block shred. Oh. Alright, we're on uh, 50 Violent here. And uh, we're going to engage BB Alistair. with this, with Thundercon here. And so you can see that Thundercon is currently in Berserk up at the top here. Um, meaning if Bianca can deal its full health and damage, she can take it down. And according to the tool tip, uh, her critical damage would be exactly 6,082 down here. And so this seems like a no-brainer because Thundercron's health is about 5,000 or so. And so we're going to go ahead and give it a roll, see if she can one-shot him. And of course, unfortunately, the tooltip is wrong because all Bicrons, from regular Bicrons to Red Eye to Flame Freezing and Thundercron, all have heavy equipment. Um, this halves wind damage by 50%. And heavy equipment is not calculated into the tooltip for combat. And so she literally deals half of what the critical would be. Uh, remember from 6,082 uh, right here into 3,041. And um, th this is actually on top of the half that is taken from elasticity. Uh, there's two major takeaways from this. Um, there's actually quite a few masteries that don't include damage into the tooltip properly. And although I'm trying to put together a list, it's important to remember little things like this, uh, especially for characters like BB, who don't exactly specialize in toughness. And this can put you in kind of awkward situations with Bicrons in general. Uh, two, generally, most players will shy Bianca away from robots. 
And while Krons and Destrons are running Elasticity, which does an insane reduction in damage by having your critical damage, Destrons in particular are not running heavy equipment. And so Bianca and let's say uh, Albus magic version of MK can deal good wind damage to Destrons. And it's just something to keep in mind. And finally, let's go over some of the barbarian life and uh, kind of immortality and berserker and anger strike and all that jazz. Um, so this footage was actually taken during my solo uh, run on 47 Violent Cruel Challenge. And at the moment, uh, Lisa has, I don't know, a thousand health and she's just tearing into stuff like she normally would. And fortunately, uh, right when she hit the frog that lived, uh, she got cursed, cursed turned into sleep, and now Elise is asleep, and most importantly, at 975 health. And so she can't see anything, she can't do anything, and her defenses are completely down, with the exception of Final Resistance, because Final Resistance takes priority on all combats. So, uh, Dorori comes flying out of nowhere while she's asleep. Uh, you can see Final Resistance does cover her, which is pretty cool, and... The one damage that the Dorori does, does wake her out of sleep. And so, you know, she goes back to normal and continues from there. But let's say that Elisa has continued on and she's at 12 health now. And this Nagori is about to knock her into immortality. So there we go. She goes from 12 down into 1 health. And she's going to finish this last turn of using Berserker and Anger Strike. Unfortunately, it turns out that, uh, you know, she hits them and it triggers sleep again. So, again, Elise is asleep. Um, and unlike last time, she's not going to wake up. And that is because of the entire One Health scheme. Uh, this is going to turn off so many things. Um, with the exception, of course, Final Resistance, which is just amazing. And you can just see, now there's no wake up. Uh, she does have immortality, but she's not going anywhere anytime soon. And so being at one health and immortality um, is not only going to turn off things like, you know, getting attacked and knocked out of sleep. Uh, it's also going to turn off, you know, Wildcat Engine, Berserker, uh, you know, Anger Strike, all that stuff. She's not even going to remotely trigger those while she's at one health. And while we're on the topic of Barbarian Masteries, uh, I wanted to show you guys something else. So uh, we're on that same spot where Lisa fell asleep with health, as you can see right here. Dory comes flying in, wakes her up, great. Uh, my Elisa is running Berserker and Anger Strike, and uh, if you notice right here, she wakes up. Why doesn't she Berserker? Uh, again, she gets hit in the face. Why doesn't she Berserker? And again, hit in the face, but she does Berserker. And actually, the reason for this is the difference of Cardinal versus Ordinal Directions. Um, so if we actually go back, you'll see that uh, the cardinal directions are north, south, east, and west, the immediates right here, right? And then ordinal directions are actually going to be your northwest, northeast, southeast, southwest, and or just known as diagonals. Uh, so if you're hit by a cardinal direction with Berserker, you won't actually do the movement. And if you don't do the movement, you won't actually anger strike. However, if you're hit on a diagonal and or ordinal movement, uh, you will trigger Berserker, which will trigger everything else. So right here, cardinal movement, cardinal movement, ordinal movement triggers, and, you know, that's when Elisa starts going to town, going to ham. And, and just wanted to show it again so people have a very clear idea of this whole cardinal versus ordinal movement. Uh, so this spider comes in, goes to attack Elisa, obviously in cardinal movement, remember, north, south, east, west. They will, Berserker will still trigger, but she won't actually move. And that just has to do with how uh, Berserker and kind of diagonal movement has to do with this Buddha. game. So you can see Berserker triggers. She still gets the AT, but she doesn't do any movement. And no movement means no anger strike. Uh, versus this spider who comes in. Ordinal movement, right? Uh, diagonals. Hits. Berserker. Lunatic Beast. 
Anger Strike, Barbarian, Wall Cat Engine, all the things that makes Barbarian absolutely silly. Anyway, I hope this guy, uh, this kind of information helps you guys.